Hello, I'll show you the basics of using a plugin for the Genesis framework called the Genesis Extender. So, if we go to our dashboard, I've already installed the plugin. So, in our Genesis menu, if we go down, because we've got the plugin installed, and we've got this option Genesis uh, Extender Custom. So, we click that. Now, here it says Custom CSS, and we can activate the front end CSS builder. So, if we click that, then click save changes and then this little option here pops up this click to view front end so we'll click that now we've got this blue button here now so we click show hide CSS builder and this gives us some options over here so what we're going to do first I want to change this um, title link here so we need with the red button here that says enable element selectors when we click that we get these little blue buttons so if we click header it's shown as the header here and we can choose what's inside so we've got to just look down here and pick the one that you think is most likely now what I want to do is this it's the link this is the link section of the header so if I go to uh, site title link so it's changed color when it goes that green color that's the bit that you will edit if you use this uh, this select here so I've chosen site title link I'm going to click that button and that puts the the selector in this box here so make sure my cursor's inside that selector and then at the top we've got background border margin fonts things like that and I want to change the background color so my cursor's inside that selector click background and now you've got you can insert an image background or a colour background. I want to just do a colour, plain colour. So it's going to be that colour. So click insert background, set colour CSS, and that's done that for us. Now I want to do the hover state as well. So if we go back to this way, it says elements, and then I've gone, I've done the uh, site title link, I want to do the site title link hover, so I'll choose that one make sure we're not in the selector we've just been using click insert and that's put the, the, the CSS in there but we just need to add the background colour that we're going to choose so same again I'm going to choose a different colour there we go and click insert background colour and then it's inserted it for us there. So now, when we hover over that, it'll change colour. Now I want to change the nav bar. So back to elements over here. Enable element selector. Where well, it says nav bar there, see here, if you click that one, that's all, all the stuff inside the, uh, the whole style sheet. <clears throat> and this is just, what it says there, site title link hovered. If you watch, when we click nav, it's changed to the elements in the nav area now and I want to choose uh, just that nav nav which is the that's sort of the nav bar there so make sure that we're not inside the, the things we've been using we're outside these elements here click that to insert the code primary nav or nav primary and make sure our cursor's in there and I want to change the background colour of this so I'll click backgrounds up here and we're back to dbdd jumbody it's the colour we want so I'll click insert that background colour it's going to insert it here because our cursor's in there so now the nav bar's changed colour now I want to change these hover colours so Elements, Element Selector, Nav, and inside the Nav Selector here, we need uh, it's Nav Page Link Hover. So let's have a look. There we go, Nav Page Link Hover. So if you hover ho over it, that little green type colour tells you that that's the area we're going to edit. So in this box again. And we want to 
click that to insert the selector now inside the selector we've got to put the actual um, element which is this background what we're going to change click there decide what color we're using and then click to insert the background color so now the hover's gone that color as well and you do that with anything on your page suppose we wanted to do the paragraphs we've got to elements element selector then paragraphs are inside content so click content and that there that's opened content here but it's got everything inside content so we've got to wade through this and try and find the bit that we think is the bit we need so what we want is content paragraph oh that would handy <laughs> content paragraph there we go so you see it's gone green when i chose content paragraph there this went green so make sure we're not inside the uh, any other elements over over here and then click that button to insert the selector there we go entry content paragraph and then we've got to change the font size so over here we've got fonts and i want to change the font size from 12 well it's actually 16 on that one but we'll change it to 18 and then click insert font size and see the, the paragraph size has changed right when you've done that what you've got to do if you see here there's two boxes there's this box here and the box underneath here so you've got to move the code from here from that box into this box down here so to do that you click insert into custom css editor and that's moved it to the box below then over here it says your changes are unsaved so we click save change changes and now everything should be saved for us so if we go to a different page and then come back again it's all been saved for us i made a couple of little slides for us to uh, to have a look at so we don't forget so this is this is what we did we first of all we, we enabled it i don't know if we've got a slide doing that i don't think we have well, let's have a look. Oh, hang on. this is what we did um change the title links and paragraph we go to genesis extend the custom then you click this little button here that says enable front activate front end then you click save changes and then you click this little blue text here and that opens the front end this so you click that big blue button there then you click this enable elements thing here and then you choose say the nav or whatever and then you click this and a, a drop down list will appear and you route through that list for the bit that you actually want to use and then that button puts the selector in this box don't forget to save your changes when you've finished well that's it in a nutshell it's much much more powerful than that is uh, this this plugin i just wanted to give you a really basic idea so you some idea if you're just starting out with it thanks for watching and bye for now